Hi. Hi. <laughs> so I'm standing here with Emily. That's right. Let's, let me just see the badge properly. Oh. Emily is from Israel. Uh, she's part of the, as you can see in the background, the Stockholm Junior Water Prize. So Emily, tell me a little bit about what you think of all this. Uh, I think it's, it's really amazing and I think it really helps and encourage people to work and young young people to work about and research about water and really improving um, this really important resource. So yeah. So you came you came all the way from Israel to stop to Stockholm. Uh, it's not all the way from Israel. I mean, people came here from Australia, yeah. from China. So I'm like I'm a neighbor. <laughs> You're a neighbor. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, we're just gonna go and walk and you can tell me through because I mean you won the award back in Israel That's to right. come here. That's were, right. Can you tell us a little bit about that process, how that went? Um, of course, it was a national competition. Again, um, Stockholm Junior Water Prize, the, just the national one. Mm -hmm. uh, all the Israeli project related to water uh, entered the competition. Um, the final was the top 10 uh, project and somehow I don't know how I won. You won. <laughs> I guess it was just the smiling or I don't know what. Yeah, and so maybe now you'll even win the prize here, who knows? Nah. You don't think so? I mean, I believe in my project and I believe in the process that I've been to, but there are like 28 more amazing projects. Yeah. So I have a chance of 1 to 29. Okay, so well, you can explain to us what you've thought of in Israel then. So we're standing here at this lovely poster board. Uh, how would you want to call it? The project? Or the project. Go ahead. Um, the full name of the project is Chemical Sensor Based on Metal Nanoparticle Networks for Detection of Organic Pollutants in Water. Right there. Right there, yeah. Uh, which is actually um, a nano sensor for pollutants. For organic pollutants. Okay. Can you explain a little bit? What's a um, nano sensor? What does that mean? Okay. And that, okay. When you're talking about a nanoscale, we're talking about 10 power minus 9 of a meter, which is really, really, really small. And what's so special about nanotechnology that in small scales, materials tend to lose their properties. Mm -hmm. And I have here an example. I have example. a vial, yeah, I have a vial yeah. uh, with a solution of metal nanoparticles yeah. and I would like you and the audience or to guess which metal is it? Reddish? Mm. Uh, maybe iron? So really the common answer is iron but the real answer is gold. It's gold. Yeah, so you can see the difference between the gold that we all know from the jewelry so this to is the gold. gold nanoparticle solution. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And that's what makes nanotechnology so inviting for research yeah. and uh, for investigation. I mean, it's, it's really amazing. Because it gives you a different perspective on... Yeah, because materials are behaving differently, because you can do new, new things that were never done. Right? Yeah. And that's, that's really special. Okay. So you, you, and so you've kind of built a filter, if I understand correctly, who, that uses the type of technology. Um, I, mean, I don't started two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, water crisis in Israel is becoming uh, more and more um, problematic. And for the past few years, um, commercial and advertisement about the water crisis are being showed. Um, for um, taking part in this uh, project were um, basketball players, some TV actors, mm -hmm. etc. So it became really, really the country was just more and more aware to this problem. Yeah. And I, as from a scientific point of view, I started to think what I, as a small person, can do. Uh, so um, I've contact Professor Gil Markovich, Tel Aviv University. Yeah, he's on here, as I can see. So, uh, hi, uh, Professor Gil. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I contact him and we sat uh, to get together and uh, finally I got 
Um, he really, I really thank him for letting me work in his lab and really uh, work on this project. Uh, for actually, it was two years process, mm -hmm. and I can't, and now I'm keep working on it. Mm -hmm. So, what is it exactly? Um, yeah, that's what okay. Okay, we have this ship. Yeah. Unfortunately, it didn't survive the flight. It's a small ship. Okay. Uh, where we get, I deposited a network of gold nanoparticles. The tube you had with you? Oh. Yeah, right? What? what? That's the gold nanoparticles, right? Uh, those are different particles, nanopart gold nanoparticles, but, okay. but similar. Different, different, different coating. But okay. that's for the, more for the show. For the show, but, okay. Uh, <laughs> so I, I deposited. Uh, network. I build a network of gold nanoparticles, mm -hmm. and I deposit it on the electrodes. And what happened is that uh, I have a nice animation, so uh, I don't know. Stop uh, or something. We'll stop right here for an animation. Uh, um, first, we immerse the sensor in water, as you can see here. That's the sensor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then we measure the electrical resistance of the system. We have the LCA meter where we control the frequency and voltage and optimize them. Yeah. And in this case the resistance is 115 kilo ohms. Yeah. Now we inserted the pollutant in water. And what's happening is that the pollutant molecules are being trapped in this network, this fishing net, as you can see in this nice animation. Ah, uh, that's the bad stuff and it gets caught. Yeah. Bacteria. No, it's not a bacteria, it's organic plankton. It's organic plankton. So, the system um, resistance is being measured, and as you can see, it's changing. Uh, which means we detect, we detect the pollutant. Um, of course, I'm still working on a lab and not in real water sources, so I developed this system in order to create a flowing water and yeah. try to imitate a tube uh, tube uh, system. So you still you want to build a prototype. The the basic research has done now and it's proven proven to work if I understand correctly. Yeah. And the next step is to see if you can get some money to actually build uh, a working prototype. Um actually there is I think there is it's the beginning and working really well and I keep working on it. I'm on to the PPB levels now, uh, which is the right on standards of the drinking water standards, yeah. which is great. And the next step maybe is my vision maybe. Oh, this and is your vision. Okay, here it comes. No, it's not the, a big vision, it's a small vision. Small visions, and begin begin with a small vision. Okay. It's the multi-sensor. Okay. Because right now I don't have um, exactly a pollutant specificity, so I don't know exactly what's in water. So what I'm working on now is a combination of few different. Now that I know uh, how, what electrodes to pick and how to build my network and what um, ligand of particles should I use, mm -hmm. I can play with those parameters, and that way I get few different sensor, which each and every one behaves differently when. A, when absorbing, absorbing different yeah. pollutions. And that way, maybe when I have a few of them, I won't be, won't be able to tell. Uh, maybe a functional group of the pollutant, maybe, maybe more, but I'm still working on it. Um, and I hope for good. Well, it's good to have great ideas. So, well, thank you very much for this very interesting presentation uh -huh. and about uh, your stay here. Uh -huh. I hope you enjoy the rest of the week as well. Uh, it's amazing here. Yeah. Stockholm is amazing too. When are you flying back? Uh, in a week. Okay, in a week. So. And really, uh, all the participants are so talented. Yeah, just have a little quick look. Yeah. Look how busy it is.
thanks for this organization, CV, yeah. and everyone who organized this competition. And I, I really believe it's encouraged young people um, to research and trying to see what they can do with this water problems, and because it's really an important resource. Yeah. We will conclude with that. Thank you very much, Emily. Thank you. Great.